Well, the sun's so shining, so it's a beautiful day to fix an RV. So today's little project is these little rubber boots have split on me and my tie rod. So both of them have come loose. There's the part number for them, of course number. And they split, and so don't hold the grease in, but dirt and grit in there. So I'm going to try to do it myself. Sometimes they get on there really tight and it can really be difficult to get loose. So I watched a couple of videos on YouTube. I thought, well, maybe I can do it too. So let's see. All right, step one. Remember, this is a Workhorse W24 chassis. If you've got a different motorhome, it may vary. But anyway, with this one, when you get the, the chrome cover off, look for the, the chrome nuts that have the little stakes in them, dimples, whatever you want to call them. You got two of them. Take those two loose. And that socket is one and five eighths. And I'll take me a paper towel, fold up like like this, put the socket over it to protect it. So don't don't scratch nothing up. So let's get that off first. So these come off fairly easy. I just used a half inch ratchet. And there you go. And also, let me see here now. I believe yeah, I've not done it yet, but I believe these covers will pop off. Say, for instance, you just want to check your oil without taking the rim off. These covers are designed to pop off. you got the little dimples. You just have to be careful not to scratch it up. But I don't know. It's probably just as easy to take the two nuts off. My luck, you take that off and it may not go back on right again. Then you'd lose it. That'd be, then you'd have a big hole in your rim. That wouldn't be pretty. All right, so we got that off. Of course, here we can check our oil level. It looks fine. Actually, it's a little on the high side. I think it's the way the axle is tilted at the moment. And now this socket is this big monster here. It is an inch and five sixteenths. That's what that is. Okay. Now remember, these things torque up to 475 foot-pounds. So it takes some grunt to get them loose. Now what I do, I've had my wheels off before, rotating them and stuff. I do have a big impact. I'm going to drag out here in a second to get them loose. But even after I get them loose and put them back on with an impact, it's still, the impact won't, I'm not sure if I'm getting them back up to 475. So what I do, I go to a local uh, tire shop about two miles down the road and I borrow their, they got a five foot long torque wrench that they let me borrow and I go out here and check my torque on the nuts. And just do that myself. I think most tire stores would, wouldn't mind that you do that if you know somebody. Because you want to make sure you get them back to 475 for sure. Let's drag out that impact. See, I told you I had an impact. Look at this monster. <laughs> That'll really get with it. But if it, even it has a hard time getting them getting them loose. But you don't need nothing like this. Luckily, a friend of mine gave, me, gave this to me, so it's good to have friends. So, uh, but, uh, you know, you could uh, probably go to Harbor Freight and get you a, a big socket, long breaker bar, and get them off yourself. No, no problem. So, let's get to work. That's going to be a two-handed job, so I'll get this off. That. Well, we got that off, and then you can see the boot is all busted because I greased the hound out of it to keep the dirt push, pushed out of it. So I'm gonna take that nut loose, give it a love tap, see if I can't get this off. Well, I don't know how successful I'll be at doing it trying to do this one handed, but let's just hold that camera right. Has she moved? Don't think she has yet. Um, but it's gonna, looks like it's going to be a two-hand job. Well, to it, it came loose. I mean, 
And all it took was a few more whacks. No, not real bad. I, I thought I was going to get a sledgehammer, but I whacked it on the side a few times. I whacked it right here a few times, and one more on the top, popped right out. So it wasn't too bad at all, but I guess the combination, because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where they hit them on the side here to, to shock, I guess, the taper, and then knock it on top. So I got, I'll take that nut loose, get the rest way down, clean it up, put the new rubber boot on. Well, I ran into my first snag. My uh, Blue Ox True Track, I think that's what that's called, will not let that come down. So now, I got to go and loosen those up to uh, drop down that uh, Blue Ox bracket so I can get this the rest of the way off. So that's what I'll do next. You yeah, know, it's always something. That worked out pretty good. Didn't have to drop it completely, just loosen it up enough to get that bracket down. I got it loose. I'll just slide this on there. Put it all back together. Yeah. So, not so hard at all. That's too bad. Okay, she's all finished. All buttoned up, torqued up, good and tight. But I do realize I don't have jack stands, bad me. I got some, but I don't, just for cars. I need to get some for the RV, but of course, I was keeping my head and body out from under there. I got that project all finished. All I gotta do is put the tire back on. If I can do it, you can do it too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.